Well, guten Abend, mein Pfeifen Freunds. Ich heiße Walter Franz. Wie heißt du? Uh, <clears throat> this is a little uh, video coming at you. I uh, uh, wanted to say hello to my uh, Deutsche Pfeifen Freund, uh, Grizzly Mouse Bear. Uh, and all is klar, mein Freund. Okay? That's all I wanted to say. All right, um, okay, good old Boy Smoking Pie Pod right here, and just wanted to kind of touch bases with you for a little bit. Um, this video, um, I am going to uh, just share with you some, just some personal things, and then I'm going to just kind of share with you a, a wonderful experience I had, no, several weeks ago. Yep, the Little Havana Cigar Shop. And here in my formerly nicotine stained hands is a is a beautiful cigar that uh, I got from uh, Little Havana about three weeks ago. And after I'm done with my little project that I've been working on for the last uh, week, maybe it'll even be done with it tonight, or at least the majority of it will be done tonight, I am looking forward to enjoying this delicious cigar uh, as a little bit of a treat. So I'm uh, saving that for a very special occasion. So there you have it. Um, so uh, Thanksgiving uh, here in the U.S. is coming up here in just two days, just two days away. Tonight's Tuesday evening. and. I am smoking uh, just a very delicious chocolate cream from the Briar Patch, and it's a tobacco I've had for well maybe a year or so. Still moist and fresh, and I remember um, smoking chocolate cream a couple years ago and really enjoying it. And I have to say, it's still a really delicious, uh, wonderful smoke. Um. Just a couple things um, I wanted to talk to you about um, <clears throat> the fitness and health side of my little videos. Um, you know, the as we know, the holiday season is kind of upon us. I kind of look at it starting Halloween and kind of going all the way to, to New Year's you know, October, late October, November, December, so those two two months there, those back-to-back -back months of celebrating and partying and lots of good food. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's certainly a wonderful time of the year, no doubt about it. But this year, I've kind of made a, a commitment. I've always wanted to do this, too is go through the quote-unquote holidays without gaining any weight. Now, some of you are probably thinking, be serious, get real. Well, I'm trying to get real. And I've been trying to get real for the last uh, 18 months. <clears throat> and I'm getting close to a goal that I've been kind of flirting with now for, mm, to be honest, six months. And I've gotten down to within about four pounds of actually shedding my 100-pound goal weight from 270 down to 170. So <clears throat> I thought, why not try to, in the hardest time of the year, hardest time of the year to lose weight is probably this time right about now, you know. Um, the good old holidays and I just thought you know what why not kind of take up a challenge um, now it doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself you can but you've got to really I think employ some good strategies and some moderation <clears throat> and because it's so easy it doesn't take a lot but it's so easy 
to overindulge. <clears throat> and you don't have to overindulge a lot. You know, it's it's those little things that will get us you know, every time. So anyway, I have decided that I am I'm, I'm going to be smart this year. I'm going to be a little bit dogmatic, I think. I'm going to say, you know, no to a lot of treats and goodies. But, you know, uh, when it is appropriate, I'm going to be very, very careful on what I, on what I choose to eat, especially on Thanksgiving. And I'm also going to prepare, you know, instead of, you know, just, you know, using, you know, the next few days and the weeks following is, well, it's the holidays. Right? That's my, that's my little ticket. That's my little excuse to overeat. <laughs> So uh, I started uh, at 180 on Halloween, Halloween day. When I measured, when I weighed in, I was a 180. So that's 10 pounds shy of my 100 pound goal. So my goal is not to gain anything, and actually to lose and start moving closer to that 170 mark. So I'm hoping that when I make another video, that when I stand on the scale, there's going to be some accountability. And instead of being 185, which probably could very easily happen the day after Thanksgiving, it might be 176, maybe 177. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to move down, not up this year. And in addition to that, I'm also going to do my second TSC challenge. Chris Kruger, uh, My Six Pack Life. Uh, he is going. He is actually, if you're interested, you can get the program that I spent forty-seven dollars. You can get it for free. So if you go to My Six Pack Life, uh, check out Chris Kruger, the Global TSC Challenge. You can download it. It's an excellent program. I will tell you that it's an excellent program. So it's going to start, I think, either Thanksgiving or the day after Thanksgiving. <clears throat> so you might want to, you know, take advantage of that. Uh, I, I looked at the upgrade, and he's done a wonderful job. I got to tell you, he's done a f phenomenal job of really even making the program even better. So uh, there you have it. Okay, the last thing I want to talk to you about. Um, about three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago, I had the occasion to go down to Vacaville, that means cow town in Espanol, Vaca is cow, cow town, cowville, Vacaville, cow town. And, uh, so <clears throat> there's a little cigar shop that I've known about for over 10 years and I have gone there periodically over the last 10 years and it's a wonderful place a guy named Bob uh, runs it he's a great guy but when he's um, when he's doing his day job uh, he has a lovely lady named Misty I believe her name is and the last few times I've gone down there, Misty's been holding forth uh, in the shop there and keeping the doors open and the coffee brewing and cigars burning. <laughs> and I went in there, and I got to tell you, it was kind of a cloudy, overcast kind of a, you know, one of those first early cold fall days. And I had been visiting somebody in the hospital, and I was a little bit melancholy. And so... And Little Havana is not too far away from the Kaiser Hospital that I was visiting my friend at. So I said, you know what, I'm going to stop and get maybe a cigar or two. And But uh, more than that, they have a wonderful little lounge. It's, you know, the kind of the perfect man cave, quote unquote. And I'll tell you, I spent about an hour and a half there smoking a delicious cigar with a wonderful cup of coffee in the company of some nice people and we were watching goofy TV shows 
And it just, and the, sh the chair, the, the lazy boy that I was in, oh, man, was it comfortable. So I kind of filmed a little bit of the Little Havana. I've always wanted to do a little review of Little Havana. I've done Briar Patch, uh, both Loman Center, the, the defunct, I'm have to, sad to say, Arden Fair Mall, no longer there and the Briar Patch at the new L Street location, so I'm a big Briar Patch fan. As many of you know. Just like the Dagners. <laughs> and uh, so, but Little Havana is a wonderful little place. It's kind of a, a place that a lot of people don't know about, except those that are in the know and local. But it's a nice little cigar store. And uh, they sell wonderful cigars. They even had a this this is I just can't wait until I'm done with my project and I'm going to enjoy the cigar. Um, absolutely. Got it in one. So there you have it. So that, what's going to follow right after this little thing is a little my little tour of Little Havana, maybe like three or four minutes at the most, and hopefully you'll enjoy the ambiance of little little Havana and if you're ever uh, out here on the west coast in uh, Vacaville, Cowtown, check them out. You can't go wrong. Okay, so Holy Smoke and Pipe Padre with just here a little early Thanksgiving video saying hope you all have a great Thanksgiving. We'll hopefully talk to you and see you soon. Take care. Okay, here we are. There I am in the old uh, frame there. You see me on the reflection there. Here we are at the Little Havana uh, Cigar Store here in Vacaville, California. And so we're just going to go in and uh, have a look around. This is a wonderful little cigar store here in Vacaville. Uh, it's been here for about 10 years. And I've always wanted to do a little video of Little Havana. And so let's go in and get started. And I'm buying some cigars here. Love these big leather chairs. And there's the old smoking Indian there. And uh, just a wonderful place. And so how long has uh, Little Havana been here? About, what, 10 years now? The uh, gentleman that owns it now has had it for about 12 years. 12 years, But it's okay. been here like 20 some odd years. Okay. And this is Misty. Say hi, Misty. Oh, hello. Yeah. She's helped me today get some really nice cigars here. Okay, all right, let me go ahead and pay for these and then we'll show you the rest of this. And then I can just kind of like, hi there. Uh, maybe with the other hand there. And then there you go, because then your fingers are in the way. Hey, Holy Smoking Pipe Padre here. And I'm at one of my favorite cigar stores here in Vacaville. And Vacaville means, Misty, it means Cowtown. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So anyway, I'm gonna get the camera here. Um, uh, Misty's kind of holding the camera right now so I can just talk, but maybe if you want to, Misty, just kind of do some panning around here to show Bob's story. we got a light out over there. There's a security camera there that goes back to uh, probably the, the Pentagon. Bob's not here today. Bob, uh, what's, uh, Bob, Bob is, uh, is he flying today? He, he is. Okay, well, anyway, so this is the cigar store here. It's called Little Havana, and they have great cigars here. And I'm going to take the camera here just from Misty just for a second. And that's Misty right there. I call her Mrs. Cigar Lady. Anyway, but here is uh, a lot of a wonderful accoutrement here. Uh, pipe cutters and ashtrays and even has some pipes here. Uh, Bob doesn't carry a big line of pipes, but he does. And he even has some pipe tobacco right over there. Okay. And so I'm at this lovely lady here. She's going to show me some cigars because I came down here to visit somebody in the hospital and now I'm going to treat myself to a cigar. And oh, can I move in here? You may. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> what a smile you have. Okay, so I'm looking for a nice, good, spicy cigar. Oh, spicy. Got plenty of those. And you know I like those Java lattes, but. And do you have some Java lattes? You do down there, right down there. Oh, you got a nice selection of Java lattes. And then you have Gurkhas. Yes. So, what would you recommend? Nice, do you have a nice Churchill, spicy Churchill cigar? 
Well, this is even bigger than a Churchill. That oh, might be too big. No, it's the no, double Ligero no. digger. Uh, is that with, a, would that be a sweet cigar? Uh, sweet, yeah. spicy? Uh, spicy. Not so much sweet. Sometimes you might get a little natural sweetness in the Maduro wrapper. If you um, don't care for the Maduro, this has got a little smaller ring gauge and it's okay. also a double Ligero, but with a natural Ligero wrapper. Wow. I am going to go help this other you customer. Can, if you... A lot of the um, La Flora Dominicanas have a nice spice to them. The um, If you like Maduro's, this cabinet number five is really deep oh. and rich and spicy. Okay. These little guys, that's not your Churchill size, but they're okay. very, very okay, good. Okay, thank you, Misty. Wow. Hmm. Those look delicious, don't they? Yeah, I'm looking for something kind of on the... Looking for something kind of on the spicy side. Let's go ahead and just look around the uh, humidor here. And Bob has a wonderful humidor. Just, just wall to wall cigars. Now this is not as big certainly as uh, the Briar Patch humidor, but it's still a very respectable, as you can see, humidor. I'm still panning around here. Okay. Okay, here are my Java lattes right here. I like the Java lattes uh, very much so. But, and they got some Gurkhas right down there. Some Gurkhas. So, I have yet to decide what I want today. So, let me kind of uh, come back here in just a moment here. Again, this is the Little Havana Cigar Shop here in Vacaville, California. Here we are in the man cave. It's really a nice place to hang out at. Watching the game. Well, not the game right now, but uh, there's John over there. And uh, just a nice place to come and smoke a cigar and chill. So again, Little Havana uh, Cigar Shop here in Vacaville, California. And we'll see you later. Bye. Got some goodies right here. See ya.